So I went to Dartmouth as an undergraduate, and I I got there as a young as a young woman, and I really didn't yet know, you know, what I wanted to do with my life. Freshman year, at the end of, of my first year, uh, I saw a flyer uh, in the English department uh, for an overseas program uh, in Italy. It was, I think, a month-long seminar on the poet Ezra Pound, uh, who was a modernist uh, poet. And really on a whim, I applied to this, to this fellowship, I was, I was accepted, and um, I flew to Italy. And Ezra Pound, I didn't realize, um, was, was really probably the most important modernist poet. And he was considered a mentor to numerous other literary figures. You know The Wasteland, the famous po uh, uh, poem by T.S. Eliot. In the foreword to The Wasteland, T.S. Eliot inscribes it to Ezra Pound as Il Mior Fabrio, which means to the better maker. When I got to Dartmouth, a lot of the issues that I think we are seeing um, the ripple effect of now were, were, were just starting. So for example, uh, there was, there was um, a report that came out soon after I arrived that showed that of the Ivy League colleges, Dartmouth had the highest rate of sexual assault. As a young woman, that was something that was really shocking to me. I, I, it was very hard for me to understand that, that that kind of violence could be perpetrated against women. And I became involved with something called the, the Sexual Assault Task Force, which was a student-led movement um, to, try, to try to address uh, this problem. And it's really ironic for me to see that now, you know, 20 years really after I graduated, uh, that it's finally, finally in the limelight. I've had so many mentors, but two come to mind right away. One was my very first editor, Renee Trappi, um, who was my editor at a very small paper uh, in Streamwood, Illinois. Um, and uh, she, she was kind of, she, she was almost a mother figure, and she was kind enough to see the really bad mistakes I was making, you know, at that point in time. I was, you know, I, I wrote a story where I misspelled the name of the mayor of, of a particular community. Um, I got facts wrong. And she, she was kind enough to see a spark in me and to encourage me at a point in time when I was really on the fence. And then later on at the AP, um, for almost seven years, I worked with one of the greatest editors, I think, um, that exists, and that is Mary Rajkumar. Uh, and Mary is an incredible creative mind, and um, she was a holistic editor who used to basically call me at the moment when I was just germinating, you know, in a particular topic. And, and she would be able to draw it out of me, you know? She'd say, well, what about this? What about that? She would then call me when I was on assignment. Sometimes on, I'd, I'd have to speak to her on a satellite phone, you know, because I'd be in the middle of, middle of nowhere. I try very hard to be a mentor to, to younger journalists because it was particularly hard for me to start in this profession. I started quite late. I was 27 years old when I, when I finally decided, after, after many years of kind of dawdling in academia, when I finally decided to be a journalist. So when, when, when people reach out to me, even though now, as soon as I got to the New York Times, kind of the, the flow of email <laughs> became much larger than, than I can almost handle, I've tried very hard to respond to them, and especially to young women, especially to them, because I think that there are not enough voices um, that, that can guide you and that can tell you, you can be true to yourself, you can be true to your femininity and still do something like war reporting. I mean, I think it's crucial. You know, I think, I, I think of where I was at 18 after having finished high school and where I was after college. Uh, and the, the deepening uh, that you get uh, in, a, in a college setting is, is unparalleled. And what it does is, I think, beyond the, the actual uh, specialization that you end up in, it teaches you how to think. Um, and this, this began for me when I was 10 years old at this, at this small school in, in California. But in college is when you really start to kind of put that into, into action. Um, you're doing longer term papers, you're doing sen a senior thesis, uh, and, and you're really up against you and the material um, and trying to find a way through it. So essential.